record on this. The recording is in progress and uh, we're okay. And I think we're ready to go here. Hello, everybody. How are you? Off to a little bit of a rocky start. It said something and I pressed a button and then everything went south on me. So what the hell? Hi, how are you? This is our little New Year get together. And uh, let me see here. Let me, uh, we have some people waiting to come on here. And there's, there are old friends. Yeah, a lot of them too. Uh, so let me introduce some of them to you as they come on here. Brian Neary, he's uh, out there in California. And uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, let me see, admit all. Here Just we you and I? Just you and I tonight? No, oh. we got Mandy O'Brien. We got Scott Boddicker. We got Charlie Wallace. We got Ed Berg, Edward Berger. That's oh. right. <laughs> Oh my God! Right. Someone has to be prepared. <laughs> That's right. There. Yeah, and there's Mandy O'Brien. Hi, Mandy. How Hi. are you? You'll probably be the only woman here tonight since Marjorie is already asleep. I'm she leaves an exciting life. life. It's yeah, only yeah, eight well, thirty. Gonna she, be, so. It's only eight thirty. Why is she asleep already? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, it's I amazing. Wait. That I can't get her, you know, I, I don't think I've spent the last couple of New Year's with her. I mean, she stayed awake when we had people here, okay? And it was, I guess, easy for her to do, but now yes. it's it, it's not. So, anyway. Every year I'm amazed that they can still come up with glasses. <laughs> like, how are they keep doing, how do they keep doing that? Yeah, how are they doing the uh, 21, I don't get it. Well, his are just sitting on top of glasses. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Um, where'd you get those that festive look, Edward? Yeah, I went to Party City. You went to Party City? Yeah. Well, the hat's from last year. I just had to change the glasses. You gotta know it's real fun when it's yeah. Party City. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah. Well, it's nice to have you all here. Jeez, you know. We decided the other night day that we would do a New Year's thing to bring in the new year. And um, here you are, you know, it's mm -hmm. wonderful. It's terrific. Uh, and um, let me see here. Do I have my music ready to go later? I don't think I do. I think I forgot to set it all up. And uh -oh. uh, well, that's OK. Alexa will sing a little of it. Huh? <laughs> is, that, is that okay with you? I don't know if that's okay with YouTube. So. Well, let me see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see here what, what we have here. Hold on a second. Let me see if I have the music uh, ready to go. I thought I set it up the other day, uh, and then I don't know if I did. Uh, oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Here we go. Guy Lombardo. Okay. We're, we're, we're ready to go with that when it's time. Okay. And do you notice what I got in back of me here? Very you know, I hate using the Zoom green screen thing, uh, but I don't have my green screen up because I guess I could have set it up, but I was I was too lazy. What can I say? This is the lazy show for setup. That's why I like it. <laughs> you know, I just say to uh, to uh, uh, Zoom, put this on Facebook and it goes, OK. Yeah. <laughs> So that uh, makes it easy, makes it really easy. Let, let me just make sure we're on the hair, but I'm sure we are because it said we were. And would Zoom lie to me? No, of course not. Let me see here. Are we? Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we are. I see him. I yeah, see him. We all have to drink for Scott now. Huh? Oh, yeah. Now, Scott is with us tonight, Scott Boddicker. <laughs> and, and Scott is, um, how you doing, Scott? Yeah, very good, very good. Are, Thank are you. you drinking tonight? <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were on the wagon. Okay. <laughs> I, I fell off during vacation in November. I feel like I need to go get something. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you got, if you, yeah, if you get, get your wine, if you've got it. Yeah. You know, I've got, uh, you know, I'm really the real teetotaler here. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? I can't, you see, you can't see. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Anyway. Sparkling eyes. Yeah. So, uh, but um, 
I really should have put up the green screen. It would have looked better. It looks better oh, than this. This gets no, all, nobody, you you know, all the way back here. My hand starts to disappear. No, nobody cares. Oh, don't know why. We won't care. Nobody cares. So anyway, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's New Year's uh, 2000, uh, coming on 2022. And I stopped to think about it. You know, I'm 82 years old. I was born in December 18th. But I was not one year old till a year later. So this is actually my 83rd New Year. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm, uh, boy, do I feel old. Eddie, Eddie White didn't make it to her. Oh, oh, yeah. You know. That was you so, don't, so, oh, I cried. I didn't know if it's a hoax because you know how many times they kept saying she died and it was a hoax? Yeah, yeah right, right. But the thing is with Betty White, the problem is, is that um, like my mother lived to be a hundred, and then at about a hundred and a half, she went. She just said, "I made it. I made it over the finish line. Okay, I'm out of here. See you later." All right. Betty White should have just hung in there. I don't know yeah. what it takes. I think it was the ultimate, like, huh? Yeah. I think it was the ultimate. Ha! Huh? I got y'all, mofo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did a whole People cover magazine, you know, and. Mm-hmm. She's 17 days away from yeah. her hundredth birthday. Yeah. And then if and she New just, Year's Eve, the last yeah. day of 2021. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. it. Well, uh, it, yeah. well, thank God she died today because otherwise she wouldn't have made the Oscar uh, you know, <laughs> tribute. Well, jo- George Burns made it to like two months before his hundredth birthday. Right? Really? I, I can't remember. I, I thought he made 100. I thought he made 100. I don't yeah. believe so. Do you know who we lost this week? I think this week at 103? Hmm. Jane Powell. Does anybody remember Jane Powell? I know the yeah. name. Dancer, yeah. singer, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Big MGM star. Yeah. I think she was 103. Wow. Uh, and of course, didn't have her SAG after insurance because they took it away from yeah. her. But anyway. <laughs> She probably would have lived to be 106 if she had the insurance. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, that, that was sad today. I think we all felt bad. I, well, I, 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 no, I wasn't sad. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I was sadder for me because she was only 99. <laughs> um, uh, I, um, I didn't feel sad because. I mean, she lived a good life and she lived yeah. a long life, oh, longer I mean, than anyone. Amazing. And at this how point, you can't go, oh, I'm talk. so sorry. I mean, I you wanted know. her to make a hundred. Well, Me of course, too. that we wanted to see her do, and we thought she was going to do it. You know, they were probably planning the party. Well, they were. Oh, they totally mm-hmm. were. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, it's so we. It's so amazing everything she's seen, you know, mm-hmm. like when you yeah. think about everything she's got to live through i think yeah it's amazing. well I mean, from the depression all the way through you know the electronic era all of that stuff i mean it's my mother's 94 and it's the same thing it's like holy shit yeah. she, she did her first tv show in the year that they first brought about television <laughs> really uh 1939 which was the year i was born <laughs> uh she was in there just it was like a test thing they were doing for television and she was part of it. Uh, so she's been with the television industry since it's very beginning. Yeah, incredible. You know, did, and then, did you hear about the show, Alex, that it used to run five hours a day, six yeah. days a week. Yes. Yeah. It was like a, it was like a regular. It was, it was a, ah. I remember there was a guy's name who was the host of it, whose show it was. And I'm trying to remember what the name of it was, but it did run that long every day because they had nothing else on. What are you going like, <laughs> to, it was either that or sign off. You didn't have any other choice, you know, one show. And, and it's not and like she, they had repeats or, or that they could, that they could do because they didn't have videotapes. But know? also <laughs> the, you know, somebody who was it? Um, uh, oh, oh, it was Michael Snyder who was saying oh, to I me that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that um, Michael yeah. Snyder was saying to me that the Desi Arnaz uh, you know, was a pioneer in television and that he he um, he invented stuff for television. Uh, no, it wasn't that he invented it, that he, uh, oh, I can't remember what he said, but I said he didn't, he wasn't a, he was a guy who was there when television had to be defined. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? He was uh, really smart because he yeah. got the tapes. 
but he had the tapes. Or yeah, but the, it, it it was be it was still a medium being defined, and so he was sitting there defining it. Mm-hmm. You know, he said, oh, we're going to shoot it on film. We're going to shoot it in front of a live studio audience. We're going to use three cameras. You know, mm-hmm. that was a whole different kind of idea. Uh, yeah. And so he didn't really do anything really special to the medium, you know, to advance it forward. No, he was there designing it. Yeah. And I think that's what she had the advantage of. I mean, when you're doing five hours a day, six hours a day of television, when there is no television, all you're doing is deciding what television is going to be. Yeah. And that's a very exciting. I always said that I was, I was really, I really felt bad that I wasn't around when television first began because then I could go into a medium and help define it. Well, you have a so, real face for radio. That's the problem. Well, when cable, <laughs> when cable came along, when cable came along and we had, uh, you know, cable television, I saw that as a new medium that needed to be defined. And, and I did midnight blue, uh, as a matter of helping to, to define it. Uh, and uh, then I went into uh, doing the first ever podcast because yeah. I felt, hey, if I did a show on the Internet, I'd be defining that medium. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't really define it. I found out that when you're the first one there, it's <laughs> the second one who gets all the credit. Yeah. <laughs> who was the second one? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I, 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 I try to remember his name now. Uh, but they always give credit to uh, I can't remember what his name is for, for all the for, for creating the podcast. And he didn't. I was there two years before he did it, yeah. you know. So, I mean, you know, I mean, but uh, she was there at a time when you could define the medium. And how exciting is that? You know, yeah. it, there are no rules. You're making them up as you go along, you know. And a woman, too. And a woman yeah. on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, she's funny though. And Boy, then when I was when I when I was a kid, I'm in the 50s, uh, she had a show I loved called Life with Elizabeth, which I thought was a hilarious show. And I probably none of you ever even remember the show because it was so early, but I'm sure if you go on YouTube or something, there's an episode of it there or something like that. The first I remember seeing her was on the Mary Tyler Moore show. I mean, I, and I was just a kid, but I thought she was hilarious. Like um, I thought she was so hysterical. Because wasn't she like Ted Knight's wife or something? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, Mar- Nivens, Marianne Nivens. Sue, Sue Ann Nivens. Sue Nivens. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she wasn't married to Ted Knight. That's right. She was. Yeah. Yeah. She was She was doing another yeah. show. She was doing the Happy Homemaker show. Happy, Happy Homemaker, homemaker show, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, she but, was hilarious. But she was, she was amazing. She was just amazing. And uh, uh, one of the people I always had total respect for, you know, uh, yeah. you, you couldn't fault her for anything. For anything. Yeah. yeah. It was just perfect. So anyway, how uh, how do we define this year? I, I guess uh, we can't define it, really. 2020 plus one? I, I don't know. It's, it was it's a very bad... I know what this year could be defined as. A very bad sequel. Yeah. 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 I came in with a bang. It's going out with a bang. Yeah. You know what? Trump free. It's yeah, but, not, but but unfortunately, it's not COVID free. Have you seen when our mayors, I say our mayors because the new one is in fact going to be uh, uh, inaugurated in Times Square tonight. What? Oh, is it? Yeah. And uh, they okay. have, they decided, let's, you know, let's go let the year go out with a, uh, a super spreader. OK, yeah. Yeah. And we're, but we're only going to let 15,000 people into <laughs> Times Square. Have you seen what they did? They pinned them in so they're all like shoulder to shoulder. Yeah. And I'm going, well, are, you guys, are you guys out of your fucking minds? Yeah. Well, we're averaging 357,000 new, I think it's 375,000 new infections every day. California's at day. 16% positivity rate tonight. That's My really- best friend just texted me earlier and said she had it. Jeez. Guess what? Last I was with her was Christmas, so I'm hoping I'm. Of course, clear. we're missing Shecky tonight because Shecky is he's still on the go. He's on is the he still, well. Is he the still CD, on the phone? 
The CDC announced just a few days ago that they advised against anybody taking a cruise. When does when, when he come plan. back? I, have, no, I did get, I did get uh, a, uh, 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 what do you call it? A, a FaceTime. Yeah. From Shecky on board the ship. Okay. Oh. And he said, oh, we're all being sheltered down. He says, there's COVID. <laughs> we're being oh, tested every crap. five minutes. They're sticking a stick he, up on he's, he's paying for the privilege. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, nobody's saying, here, here's a free trip on us soon. Right. To begin yeah. with, considering yeah. how these things are giant floating Petri dishes, do you really yeah. want to be given that as a gift? You yeah. know? Yeah. Oh, gee. So- so we had the one for New Norwegian airline, the Norwegian uh, cruise ship. Mm-hmm. We had that. I told you we had that one for last summer. Yeah. And then they pushed it out. And um, I'm just afraid that if they do offer refunds, that they're going to go, they're going to go out of business. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if because so many people have stuff booked already. And with we're them, still so. buying new ships and building these billion dollar yeah. ships. Well, what do we do? What do they do with those things if they no longer? can stay in business they just take them out to the middle of the ocean and sink them no they take them to a, a, a shipyard and i think it's uh norway or something and they just scrap them they tear them apart Jeez. and they are supposedly so bad for the ocean they just it, trash the ocean uh, yeah. because... well just think of all the people taking a dump <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not supposed to open those out into the ocean. They're they, supposed to wait till they get back they, in stock. They, they say they don't. You know, who knows? You know? Well, would you love to see the septic tank in that ship? Okay, I have, I have, I have something for you. So yeah. back in 1974, I lived in Warwick, Rhode Island. Mm-hmm. I used to go see my grandmother mm-hmm. in New York City. Yeah. Okay, so we'd take the train. My mother and I would take the train. I can remember going to the bathroom on the train and taking a whiz or whatever and pushing the plunger on the floor and looking down at the fucking tracks. Okay? Oh, no. Okay? So that's where it was going. Okay? So oh, my God. Wow. It was 1974, 75. It's not that long. It's a long time ago. I could look at the tracks. I'm thinking, okay, so really? So, yeah. Just mm-hmm. so you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, so um, uh, Shecky's on the uh, cruise. And uh, Where's Steve? I thought Steve Bender might be on. Oh, wait, well, you know, I mean, people do have things to do on New Year. Uh, well, I was not, afraid when I, afraid when I came home. But you see, she was out, she was out <laughs> partying. I saw My your mom called me and said, Where are you out juking tonight? <laughs> you know that term? Yeah. What's the word? She said, Are you out juking tonight? What's you juking? <laughs> I, it must be a Southern thing. I'd never yeah. heard it before. I was like, what in the heck are you saying, Mom? Yes, I, was like, no, just, I was just watching the dogs beat up on Michigan. Go dogs. <laughs> yeah. Go dogs. I wish I knew what you were talking about. Football. Football. Oh, yeah. University of Georgia dogs. Oh, and oh, my tomorrow, daughter's at the game. Well, tomorrow, a big, goes there. tomorrow there are a lot of big football games, right? Yeah. These were supposed to be the big ones. Oh, I thought today. Yeah, the big ones tonight, though. Oh, really? <laughs> they were bad. They were bad. Bad games. This was for the. They were the semi. The playoffs for the national championship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now you're out in California, Brian, and uh, and so are you, Len. And it's still. Uh, uh, I guess you're going to spend an early New Year with us, but you you got to you know you make it till you'll make it till nine o'clock, won't you, before you pass out? <laughs> Yeah, well, we we watched uh, Spider Man this morning <clears throat> in the movie theater. Oh, oh my I know. God. Yeah. we're messed up though, but it's okay. So, so we did that, and then uh, we're in the middle of the Matrix. But I told the kids they can have a play break halfway through, so I can be on the show tonight. <laughs> and, let the you, and let me ask you this question: Would you like to spoil it for everybody and tell us how Spider Man ends? Oh, <laughs> it's gonna be like Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I would like to say to you, Brian, congratulations on your engagement. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brian that's, on that's, his that's, engagement? That's very cool, yes. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, okay. Stay up to the but the, time. <laughs> Wait a minute, am I miss, did I miss something? <laughs> you actually okay. have to go on Facebook and look at people's oh, posts. Yeah. 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 You gotta okay. follow him on Facebook. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So okay. So, so I do this tonight. What time is it? 
Uh, very good. <laughs> you have you have ten yeah. minutes. So, so, so Tiffany and I, and I have been together like almost nine years, but we never like officially got married. So oh. yeah. Oh, we, you know what? We we're going together like three or four years, and then we had Adrian, and then we always said, you know, we want Adrian to get old enough to remember the wedding and everything. So, nice. yeah, That's so we're, nice. we're in Vegas, and I knew I was going to propose, and we actually went to a, a <clears throat> really, really nice restaurant with some friends of ours that went, three families went. Mm -hmm. And yeah, they, we had our private room and there was like this view of Bellagio with the waters going. I mean, it's, it just worked out really well. So. So let me ask yeah. you this. Um, um, uh, see, I thought you were married. I know. I always because we always say wife and we, you know, well, we talked thing, about my, the kid and all of that. So I, <laughs> I just assume those things, you know, but I mean, she must have been delighted and happy. And did she see it coming? She know, it was coming, right? No, she thought it was coming like a couple years ago, I guess. <laughs> are the old are the older kids hers from a previous marriage? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Now yes. let me ask you this though. Let me ask you this. Uh uh, have you ever been married before? Yes, I was married before. Okay, so I was married before, but and we were together, well, we we're together like 12 years old, but we were together like seven years when we got married. <clears throat> but it was just a, like a hey, let's get married. We went down to the court mm -hmm. and got married. And then after like four years, then we, we got divorced and it was very mutual and no, no lawyers needed, just a mediator. So that was good. Her, when she was married, she, the same sort of thing. They just went down to, to the hall and, and no big deal and all that stuff. So neither of us had really, have really had a wedding. So, so it's time for yeah. the wedding. Yeah, yeah. you're all invited. I'll put the Zoom on in the corner. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> on Zoom. Yes, sir. <laughs> We'll do Monday at one o'clock. Monday. <laughs> Perfect. And you know, I I uh, I don't know where it is, but I I'm actually a ordained minister. Oh my god! In the, yeah. In the uh, what do you call it? What, the Church of Life? What was it called? Uh, the uh, University. Uh, what was Unitarian. Yeah. No, no, it was a it was a phony fuck deal the, the church of what's that's that's the but if, you, if you universal life church that was that's a the universal one. life yeah. church and i i had i he he actually sent me a uh a thing the guy who ran it and he had the right to make you a, a minister in his church and well, i wish uh, i'd known that how'd you get it what'd you do I, to get it i had i had him on, i had him on my show yeah <laughs> my next door neighbor married me and my wife they she went and did whatever she needed to do. It cost her twenty dollars, and that was the end of it. No big deal. Yeah, I think we have Mike Chisholm joining us. He's trying anyway. Yeah. I think she's trying. Mike C. It says. I assume that's Mike Chisholm. And the place to be. Yes. Yeah. The, yeah, and so, the place so you want nice. to be. It, it really worked out well. It was like perfect. I knew I was going to do it this weekend. I knew then we had a nice restaurant planned for christmas evening and then to have the private room mm -hmm. and everything was right. yeah it worked out really well yeah wow, so we, and we got like free champagne and a bunch of free stuff this very expensive restaurant and so <laughs> we said hey let's do this tomorrow night too every night now have you told have you have you told adrian oh yeah she was right next to me oh okay oh, all right oh, and, 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 yeah and how did you go you need to go stalk his page how, how did you react to it she was happy. Yeah, she's very happy. I'm not going to yeah. be a I'm not going to be a bastard any longer. No, no. <laughs> yeah. She saw the ring. She saw the ring. I saw. I was in. I was, actually, I was right here getting packing my stuff, and the ring was right there. And she grabbed it and opened it. Oh. <laughs> shit. And I said, "That don't say anything to mommy because that ring is not for her. That's for my friend." So, <laughs> so I got to get rid of this other Mike Chisholm here. Hold on a second. I cannot keep a secret. I tested her a couple times and she's just blah blah. Yeah. Blah, so. That's, yeah. 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 So yeah. So that was our secret word. All right. So you can't even say the word ring all weekend. Wow. So, so she was good. She didn't say it. Now then she knew why. So uh, did you a, did you spend your what is it? Were you supposed to spend three weeks salary or something? Uh, three months. Yeah. If you go to your shame company, yes, you would because they're so expensive there. Yeah. <laughs> I went there and I said I knew Alex Bennett, and they said, "Who the hell is that?" <laughs> well, I am. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I mean, uh, it's uh, uh, so you, you got our, I imagine, a fairly decent ring, right? Yeah, it looked, it looked nice. No, I'm going to have more decent ring later. So. 
I'm going to have to go to your Facebook page. You have the ring up there? Yeah, and the, there's uh, the, there are videos. Because my... Yeah, so the friends we were with sort of knew what was going on a little bit, so they yeah, they jumped it and. Uh, so, so was she surprised or was she? Yeah, she looked. She looked to just say it's yeah. about time. Yeah, no, she. <laughs> she said later. No, she was very surprised. Yeah, because I think she says it, if if it goes ten years, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have uh, four and a half minutes left to go before we're through with this year. Yeah, and I guess everybody's going to go. Oh, thank God, 2021 yeah. is over with. But that's what we said. But about next year, we're going to say, yeah. "Thank yeah. God, 2022 is yeah. over and done with." This uh, is God. Knows, no, we're not. Be positive. Well, okay, no, I'm all for it. I'm all for being positive. But quite frankly, I was positive last year, and look what it got me. Yeah. Well, the problem is we're positive with COVID. Like, that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Get rid of this. You know what they <laughs> said? This is interesting. It's an interesting thing. They said we may not need a fourth shot. You know why? Well, I'll be dead. I'll no, be dead. <laughs> they think, no, they believe that Omicron is the uh, COVID killer. The right? endemic. Well, it is really? because it is not as deadly as all the others, yet yeah. it can give you the immunity. antibodies and the immunity. Yeah. So yeah. that if it gets as predominant as we believe it is getting, it mm. could very well kill COVID. It, it's wiping out Delta, basically, yes. Yeah. It's wiping out Delta, and people who are getting it, you know, it's, uh, you know, well, people who are it, getting it. Uh, and somehow uh, this will be a lesson of, of life for all of us. This whole well, no, the, you're going to have these assholes sitting around going, <laughs> see if you waited long enough. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, Kevin. We got three Hello. minutes. Three minutes till uh, till midnight hits. Um, and if you, you've got your oh. <laughs> wait a minute, isn't that the same bottle Santa had the other day? Uh, yeah, he, refilled it. It. he refilled it with tea. He just refills it. I admit it. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not even drinking it, are you? <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Not a shot glass this time, though. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, you're coming up on. But, well, I'm too here. That'll warm you on they a cold day. Now fireworks in my. Apartment. Yeah, they are here too. Out there doing really? Uh, yeah, it's an hour early so here. Ratchet. I was gonna say it's not midnight yet, though, right? Maybe we. It's, 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 uh, I just jumped into. Be on the East Coast midnight. Yeah, well, I, I wondered whether I was going to do it this way or whether I was going to do it the way that I do my other show uh, in order to be able to have a camera in the other room that I could have on here so you could see the fireworks out the window. But oh, geez. I decided to hell with it. I like the nice, simple way of doing it, <laughs> the way we do this all the time, you know. And it's it's terrific, you know. And it's already started here. It should be little Baghdad in a couple hours. It should be what? It should be little Baghdad around here in a couple hours. Little Baghdad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was it was pretty. Uh, um, uh, it it gets. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't heard any fireworks lately in this neighborhood. But the, you know, when that whole fireworks fad took place a couple of years ago, there was it's no getting here. To sleep every night. Yeah. yeah, and then I heard it was happening all over the country, and I went, "Wow!" Well, we're one minute away from 2022. Yeah. Okay, uh, and uh, we've got uh, Brian Neary with us, and we've got Charlie Wallace, and Edward Berger, and Mandy, and That's Scott, right. and Len, <laughs> and Mike Chisholm, and Everybody. of course Kevin. Just the just the nice people that we always have on for these pop ups and and keep it so nice and positive and good. This is just, it's, it's wonderful. I I, I I wouldn't go on at midnight uh, for any other group of people but you guys. Thank yeah. you for doing this seriously. Hey. Well, yeah, listen, we're we're getting story. there. We're getting there, folks. The it, we're getting. I was say, okay. Up, right? Okay. Hey, yeah. Right. We got uh, about uh, fifteen seconds. Hey. Right. Countdown. From uh, let's see here, ten. Actually, 
nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, six, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Here we go. Yeah, not a Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. I love those glasses. Well, uh, my, uh, you did Clark Television. It's 30 seconds behind. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll do it again. Yeah. 28. 28. <laughs> <laughs> That's because YouTube is behind all the time. No, yeah. Internet for you. Oh, they, look! Look at Edward Berger. How fast yeah. is that? <laughs> He's making out already. That's right. Yeah, very good. I like that. That's wonderful. Oh, like I feel so different. Backdrop. Okay. <laughs> what? So now, now that it's tomorrow in New York, could you tell us what the winning lotto numbers are for tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I hear fireworks outside, yeah. right outside here. Yeah. And I've then they've stopped. Off. I guess we're not as festive this year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Spoke too no. soon. Yeah, Kevin in my area, it, it's, yeah, it'll be lighting up. I thought while. I saw some fireworks out Kevin's window. Oh, my God. They're he really hear, oh, wait, wait, let's see. I don't know if you can hear him. Oh, I oh, know. That's a, I think that's a, hello, that's a um, Christmas. Oh, I just saw light your, light yeah, that yeah, 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 that's oh, yeah, out the window. Yeah. yeah, that's some guy who lights up his house, right? Yeah, yeah, so that's funny. the that's the laser thing on the on the yeah. front lawn. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I I I should mention this only because I know it. You know, the, the Thanksgiving for um, Canadians is what in uh, in October. October? Second right? Monday of October, yeah. yeah. And, and Christmas is in June. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> and New Year, New Year, they don't get around to till the year after we have the New Year. <laughs> yeah, we got we got uh, we got really good feelings about 2021 this year. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, happy 2021. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, you got to realize it, the whole thing is somebody once said the. the the thing that makes America interesting is the is the time change. Like when it's a, a, a good example, when it's midnight here in New York, it's 1953 in California. <laughs> That's right. I yeah. wish. Yeah. But uh, so anyway, so good news. Brian, when are you going to get married? Actually, are you, have you set the date? Yeah, about nine years from now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, no, we haven't, no, no, we, no, we haven't set a date. We started talking a little bit about it. But if I were her, I would make it next Congrats, week. Man. You yeah. know, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah. Well, yeah. she doesn't want to let a specimen like that get away. Come on. And, and, and Mandy, Mandy has a big announcement. She's not engaged this year. So, <laughs> what are you doing oh. that to me for? <laughs> Well, the first it fuck you on this show. But I'm single. <laughs> you know something? I would think, how long, how many years were you married? Uh, almost 26. So wow. I think I think maybe you should be happy you're not married at this yeah, point. Oh, I, I doubt I'll ever get married again. I mean, I, yeah. I would like to have a relationship, but I doubt I'll get married. Well, I, you know, when I got divorced for the third time, um, <laughs> I decided. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but when I when I got, I got married uh, the third time, divorced the third time, I just said that's it, and I never. Uh, I went, God, almost twenty years, I think, without getting remarried. Oh wow! And then Marjorie came along, and on leap day, because on leap day, women can propose to men. Oh shit! Amy Hawkins Day. Yeah, yeah she she, uh, she proposed for a while though, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. She proposed to me, and I said, "Well, why not?" <laughs> that was my answer. <laughs> why not? And uh, we were we got married in Lake Tahoe in California. We were cool. we we're out there actually to see a movie. Believe it yeah. or not, see Napoleon, <laughs> which is a nine uh, eight and a half hour film, silent film, and. Uh, uh, I said, oh, let's go up to uh, Lake Tahoe. We just went, and, and I said, as long as we're going up there, let's buy a couple of rings and get married. So we found out somebody who would marry us up there, and we just went up to Lake Tahoe and got married standing uh, right 
beside the lake. Oh, before, no, uh, Alex. Before, what? Alex, that was February uh, 29th of 2012, right? No. No? I, I think our, 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 our uh, it's uh, March. Oh, God. Oh, no, 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 the leap day. The leap day that you got engaged. Oh, the leap day we got engaged, yes. Yeah. That was the 29th of 2012, right? 2012, I think. That's, was... the, day, that's the day I got married. I think my wife's was... my oh. anniversary is that day. Really? Oh, that's cool. I, think, yeah. I thought we did it in 2011. You see, here's what happened. We were we were in our court case, right? And they were doing depositions, and um, ah. <laughs> the opposing ah, attorney like said to me, what, "When were you married?" Uh, and uh, I thought for a second, and I said, uh, I, "I don't know." <laughs> <laughs> And the other lawyer looked over at Marjorie and went, just like a guy. Uh, <laughs> so, Mike, you've only been married for two years then. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. We're working on number three. That's very cool. Yeah. You, oh, you've only been married for two years? <laughs> because you guys got married on Leap Day. Leap Day. Leap Day. Right? Leap Day. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Did she, did she propose, did she propose to me on Leap Day? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mine was yeah. Groundhog Day, so there you go. Which you had to do it then, otherwise you'd have to wait another four years. Right. <laughs> uh, so uh, what are you doing tonight, Kevin, for New Year? Are you just going to stay up so that you can see the New Year in and then go to sleep? If I make it that far, yeah. Yeah, you know, Marjorie didn't make it that far. <laughs> I mean, she could have tried, and it would have been nice to have her here. And I, it would be nice to have kissed her on a new year, but unfortunately, she just I'm going to sleep. You know. <laughs> well, she you, said you, that. She predicted yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah. called that last week. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we've been binge watching is uh, Yellowstone. Mm. Is it a fantastic? I, 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 fantastic. I wouldn't call it fantastic. Oh, I love it so much. I think we're in the second season now, and the second season kind of is disappointing so far. Yeah. Am Stay I right? With it. Stay with it. Yeah. I imagine yeah. it picks up in the third season. You know. Yeah. Third season was good. Yeah. But it's I did a like slow burn. Hmm? I did like the first uh, I did like the first season and I did like what it were, you know, how it was done and, and it, it's a good show. It's a good show. It's not a great show, but it's a good show. Um well, nobody here cares about Boba Fett, do you? Yeah, I do. Well, no, you do. Four ninety nine a month. I have his, I have his shit off. tattooed on my shoulder. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, mean, I think I Boba Fett, Fett. I think is. I, th I watched it a second time last night. I think it's very good. Well, I, I, I expect it to be. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, they explained how he got out of the out of dying. Because you know, like he that. died in the second movie, and yet somehow Boba <laughs> oh, Fett so became this incredible cult figure. What? I thought it was a prequel. Okay, so it, no, it's it's oh, okay, good. Oh, you didn't uh, see it yet. I haven't seen it yet. No. Oh, if you see it, it, it he, they explain how Boba Fett got out of the uh, what was the name of that thing? The, the, the Sarlacc pit. The yeah. Sarlacc, yeah. How he got out of that and how he but survived. Yeah, what talking about? Hmm. Boba, Boba Fett. It's just, it's, they all die at the end. In Star Wars. They oh, all die. Okay. I, yeah. You remember who Boba Fett was? He was the, uh, he was the guy who uh, took. Uh, bounty hunter or whatever. The bounty hunter who took uh, Han Solo back to Jabba the Hutt. Who, yeah. And, you know, because he was frozen <laughs> and stuff like that's, that. Anyway. That's my prediction, Alex. My prediction is that Han Solo, that Harrison Ford appears in this series. That's no, my prediction. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he he's so happy he doesn't have to do that character yeah. anymore. Yeah. He said good. that, but that's his shit. He, 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 he said he would only go back and do the one he was in if they would kill if the would character kill off. Yeah. And then he was in the third one. And then he was in Rise of Skywalker again. So that's his shit. What do you mean he was in the third one? He wasn't in the third one. Yeah, he was. Where? So Kylo Ren, Ray took off. She healed Kylo Ren and then she took off, and then he was sitting there on that uh, where the water was splashing on him, and he was having like a crisis of faith, and suddenly 
you heard hey kid and he turned around and there was han solo his dad standing there and uh and that's when he stopped being kylo ren and he became ben solo again i don't remember that i don't remember and, that and he either. said and he said i love you dad then again that and last solo episode said, then again that, said, that last said, episode that last episode that last episode, last episode was a, yeah. was terrible. A terrible yeah. film. It's one of the worst well, movies I ever it. saw. Solo was in it. <laughs> well, I'm I don't really watch it now. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to go back and watch the end of it and see. Yeah. But, and he said, "I love you, Dad." And Han Solo said, "I know." And then he turned around and he was gone. It was fantastic. Yeah, this, that's the reason why this is such a friendly show is because we really <laughs> talk about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> You know. And I've, I'm like completely checked out because I only saw the first <clears throat> original three movies and that's it. You know, if you watch the original three movies, you will like the Mandalorian and Boba yeah. Fett on, yeah. on Disney because they was like really, since, since the original movies are the best thing they've ever done with the Star Wars yeah. stories. It, yeah. It's amazing. And I was also a kid. I mean, I just am not, I'm just not a science fiction type person. The Mandalorian was spectacular. I loved it. Yeah, I watched it twice. Yeah, who who would like it? Most this is one of my prized collectibles right here. What is that? That is a 1983 original Boba Fett, still in the package. Ah. Oh, okay. And how much is it worth? About five. Huh? About five thousand. About uh, five thousand, really? Yeah, I was say, don't let Patrick Blazing know about it. God, I just, I feel so. <laughs> yeah, I <know> so Patrick, <laughs> I feel so bad about all the crap I threw away. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, I, what I've often told kids today is buy two of everything you like, and then yep. put one of them away. Keep them in the I, package. I, yeah. I actually had a friend that did that. Is uh, he was an older dad, and he bought two of everything. But we gave one to the kid and put one in the attic. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know what ever came of that, but <laughs> and now Shecky used to collect movies. He it was illegal at the time, but he used to collect movies. And now he sold his film collection. Right. I won't say for how much, but several hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my god. To the Library of Congress. Cool. shecky has got some crazy collections. He's yeah, got some he crazy baseball cards. He's got some crazy comic books. He's got yep. some rad stuff. Well, he he the one thing he told me about once, and he's never mentioned since, is he said, "Well, if you like, well, if you like my uh, my uh, film collection, he said you should see my baseball cards." Yeah. Wow. You know, wow. this is a kid who never threw anything away. Did you never... did you ever hear from Shecky? Yeah. Yes, he's, he's dying of COVID. <laughs> on oh, US, is he? On the USS Petri dish. Yeah. Was he on one of the Petri dishes? <laughs> supposedly, he said that they, they weren't allowed to go on shore yeah, for several but, of the stops yeah. because the countries wouldn't let them off yeah. the boat. Right. Exactly. I'm wondering if he was on one of those boats. And, that you know, he's on one that only has about, uh, uh, what is it? 200 people on it when does he yeah. come back yeah. is he back soon is he back tomorrow or he'll be he'll, he'll, well, he'll be back on uh i think on tuesday he's oh. back but they won't let him off the boat <laughs> right <laughs> 14 <laughs> oh, that was trump okay Bye let's say him. let's say he gets off the boat okay try getting on the plane right, right. how many planes are coming back to new york from florida yeah, he's he's in yeah. Florida. He's getting into Florida. Yeah, so he's yeah. got to still get back. Yeah, I, I would drive all over the place. Well, I'll tell you what we could do. We could send Mandy down to pick him up in a car in Florida. And she can bring him halfway up to Georgia, and then whoever is near her could drive him the rest of the way. Yeah, just wear a traffic. <laughs> huh? Hey, my daughter's in Miami. In there you go. My daughter's in Miami. She you can catch a ride with her on the way back. Uh, your daughter's in Miami. She went to the Orange Bowl. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. I'll tell she's a more. senior this year. So her and she has a ticket to the national championship. She was in a lottery. Oh. And she wow. found out um last week that she got, you know, got a ticket. And actually, thanks to Taco Bell, there was no call. Like she didn't even have to pay for it. Oh, oh, are you gonna quarantine her? Taco Bell. Are you gonna quarantine so, her for two weeks? 
Right. I don't know, but she's like, I'm obviously not going to Indianapolis for by myself to go to Natty. So she's going to wow. sell it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, anyway, so, uh, so anybody have any, uh, 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 of course, I'm not going to ask you about any plans for New Year. You had plans yeah, to be this here. Is right. this, is, this is it. <clears throat> Yeah, they, they canceled a lot of stuff. They canceled the fireworks from Chrissy Field. Yeah. Uh, they a lot of the big parties that they had uh, up in San Francisco. They canceled like the last couple of days. Yeah. Well, you see, I don't think they should cancel anything, but they should just cancel people being there. <laughs> okay. the no, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, Zoom follow me on. on this one. Yeah. Times Square right now. If right. most of the people watching it are watching it on television. That's true. Okay. Yeah. So just don't let anybody into Times Square. Just do the ball drop, do the, the whatever, just you know. Leave, leave Seacrest there by himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they canceled the They canceled the downtown Atlanta one. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, any town that was smart canceled their Boston activity. is still on. Gonna have well, we have here in New York. I mean, we're having this 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 super spreader event down in Times Square tonight. We have the highest rate of infection in the country. Yep. Have more cases of COVID yep. than anybody. Yep. Except for England. England's ahead of New York. Are they really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're number two. Yeah. In the world, <laughs> but in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what? What? Uh, let's go person by person here. Any hopes for the, this year? What do you want out of this year that would be positive? More testing. More testing, please. <laughs> no, but if you have more testing, Brian, then there's be more cases. So that's that's a bad idea. No, 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 just no, more no. testing. You, you forget the business he's in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just keep testing. Yeah. Send me some tests. I need some. Yeah, send us some. Send us some tests. Yeah, they have a shortage right now of the the rapid test because yeah. all the kids coming from school are are trying to get tested. Yeah, you know, well, my daughter got exposed. My my other daughter has it, and my grandson has it. Oh wow! Yeah, they just they sent an email uh, earlier saying that they for our district they're not they're not requiring it, but they recommend to get tested if. And then, but well, so I you just know, had to go get a you know one at the, over at the hospital, but you know that's only as good as two days ago. But you know all this, you know the story with Marjorie and her accountant yeah. that she went in to work with, and I said don't do it. She went in, and then about two days later, on a Thursday, he wrote her and said, "I turns out I have t I was tested and I have COVID." Yeah, great. So we sat here wondering if every cough was death. You know, yeah, and, and, and luckily, I mean, here we are, it's over a week. It's a week and a day now that week and two days, if this is Saturday, actually now, uh, and we haven't gotten it. So I don't think we're, we're going to get it. So if you're Check triple vaccinated, you're all set, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. not necessarily. My, my daughter was vaccinated and she was deathly ill for two days. Really? Wow. Yeah. What after getting the shot or yeah. Because no, after having the shot and then getting exposed. Oh, then getting exposed. Wow. Okay, but but you know it. it it's it's less than going to the hospital. Rosie, correct me if I'm wrong, because Charlie Wallace, of course, is our doctor <laughs> death here. Uh, in the whole country, I think it said that because of uh, people have been vaccinated, only one person has died. Who's yeah. been vaccinated? Right. Who's been vaccinated? Yeah. Who's gotten the booster? I think. Yeah, yeah. Got the booster. Booster. only all one. Three. Only one. That's, that's pretty, pretty amazing. Good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now that doesn't mean you're not going to get sick like Kevin's kid yeah. did, but you know. So yeah. what? It's you know she's not going to die from it. She's just going to feel like crap for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, my coworker came. She texted me on Tuesday morning and said. I'm running a little late. I stopped to get a COVID test <laughs> and they said it'll be about 30 minutes. And um, she said, so I'll let you, you know, I'll be there soon. And I was like, why would you be coming in if you're stopping to get a COVID test? <laughs> <laughs> said, you wait for oh, well, I think I just have a cold, but I'm just making sure. And I well, said, right. I was like, well, okay, you know, whatever. So the next thing I know, I'm just getting a ding, like a Google chat. And she's in her office. She's like, 
could you come in here? I have a question about something. I said, oh, <laughs> she said yay, negative test. And she went, no, I haven't heard yet, but I'm masked up. I, oh, I'm masked shit. up and I have some Lysol. And I said, would you please leave right now? Um, we have like some hot little, we have a couple of women in our office that are high risk. Mm-hmm. And I said, just to be on the safe side, would you please go home? Yeah. Well, you, you do, know. you know, you do it for other people. Right. You don't do it for yourself. Right. And she said, are you sure? I said, yes, I'm sure. Bye. <laughs> and then the next day I texted her. I said, she just didn't come to work. So I said, I guess you haven't heard yet. And she said, no. And I really feel like crap and I feel worse. And, I said, oh. okay. and then she said, she didn't even hear the next day. So the test, like, I don't know where she went to get tested, but as of <laughs> two days, she still didn't have results. Wow. Didn't just basically didn't come to work. By the time they get the results, they've already spread the goddamn thing. And she's not vaccinated anyway. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. I couldn't believe she was dumb enough to come in. I was like, really? Come on. Were you anywhere near her or did you? No, I had never I had never gotten near at least like and Hmm. we've gone through the whole Christmas thing. So I hadn't seen her since Wednesday before Christmas. Oh, good. So I felt like, okay, at least I hadn't been really around her. Yeah, um, I, I, but I just thought, why would you even consider coming in the office? Right? Like, yeah. I gotta mention what something. To the whole, it used to be everybody was like, if you feel bad, stay home. Exactly. But everybody's kind of gotten past that where they're they're like, well, I must just have a cold, you know. Right. You'll stay home with a cold. Yeah. 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 By the yeah. way, can I just say once again, and I'm this is a Jew saying this. <laughs> I'm no expert. Okay, but that's really a good looking tree you've got back. I've been trying to find out. Huh? But a lot more work than I ever did. My festive... How <laughs> long did that take you to put together? 10 minutes. Oh, Ten minutes. No. wait a minute. Or decorating it. De- decorate it. It took me like an hour to decorate that's it. All? Really? That's ridiculous. Yeah. We worked. Five, six hours and it never looked that good. Right? Well, it's because it's just glowing, you know. But, but it, mean, looks, it looks, it looks, it looks spectacular. Thanks. <laughs> it's like it's like looking at Rockefeller Center for Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, like better. Like, Alex. It's, it's fake and it's like Alex. a sprue. It's real fluffy. What, what Mike? You know, so Us it's Gentiles supposed to be like a know how to do that by the time we're seven years old. What? Yeah. Us Gentiles know how to do that when we're by the time we're seven years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, what they do here in New York is they go out to the forest and they chop a giant tree down. Yeah, it's been that could grow another hundred years, years, right? Hundred years, yeah, probably three hundred years old. Yeah, and they cut it down and they put it in Rockefeller Center. The center of Rockefeller Center, <laughs> and then it dies. And then it dies, okay. and it, it was so it was so in the woods that I think a year ago they brought it and they found an owl in the tree. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Still living there. <laughs> and recently they uh, they did a show called Hawkeye on Disney, in which the yeah. final episode takes place in Rockefeller Center at Christmas well, don't time. Don't tell me I'm in the middle of Hawkeye. Now. Oh. <laughs> they all die. Well, let me put it. This, let, I, I, no, nice. I don't. I don't want to spoil it for you. But the tree falls into the ice, <laughs> and, <laughs> and as he's sitting there in the tree, this little owl is looking at him. That's pretty hysterical. I won't spoil the rest of it. For yeah, you. Right. and then they all die. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody dies. Look, they Everybody bring dies. this thing down. They make a big deal out of it. They have a big TV show. We're lighting the Christmas tree, right? They, <laughs> and then it's up for a month, and that's it. And then they tear it down, and it's next year to destroy and another it's, woodland. And it's mulch. Artifice. What? Yeah. yeah. They turn it into mulch. I heard they make it the co-host of the Today Show. <laughs> 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 Ed, Ed, Edward wins tonight. That's the funniest part. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's yeah, the uh, like yeah. That's the there coup de gras. Oh. <laughs> you know something? I really it. Yeah, I found over this year that my great find was the Monday show. You know, yeah. 
that I just really like you people and you're really fun and you're, you know, you like each other and you're nice to each other. And it's just the opposite of everything that's going on with these talk shows and with these discussion mm-hmm. shows. It's the complete opposite of the show I do during the week, you know? Yeah. Uh, and and uh, the only fear I had about tonight was that some of those people who are on that show Mm. Night show would show up, up for this program, and I, you know, I put on the uh, up on the uh, Facebook page that all 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 people are welcome, you know. Yeah, but I was you thinking, thank God, thank God, none of those guys showed up from the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I gotta go now. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're one of the ones that has been we're on the nice night. ones, Kevin. You're Charlie, we're the nice, nice ones. ones. Yeah, I mean, Charlie's part of the nighttime crew too, and Brian is. But it's just the the mixture is very nice, and uh, you know all we're missing here is checking. We're missing. Hey Phil, Marjorie. Alex wants you to call in right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, uh, Alan. Alan. Come to call Alan too. Come bring Alan. Alan, <laughs> Alan with you. <laughs> and, well, I don't think Alan was going to do it because uh, Alan said on my on the show on, on the nighttime show. He said, maybe I'll call in on the Monday show sometime. I said, don't. <laughs> you know, Alex, Alex don't. When, when, when Mandy and I were in Mexico, we sat there for a couple of hours and had a cocktail and we talked. And one of the things we said to each other was that, you know, when you talk, for me, you talked to me for 20 years. You talked to me. You, 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 you spoke at me. I didn't have a chance to talk to you. And mm-hmm. she said the same thing. She listened to you on Sirius. I listened to you on KMEL and KQAK and all those channels. And so you spoke to us without us being able to respond back. The mm-hmm. fact that we're able to do this now means more to at least to me and Mandy, more than you know, that we wow. appreciate this. No, that's very nice of you to say. I mean, you, you all mean a lot to me too. I mean, it, this it's, is- It's really, it's remarkable that we're able to do this with you. Thank you. I often feel the people that do the nighttime show with me uh, are, are very jealous, like, chil- uh, like children are jealous of their uh, brothers are jealous of their sisters. Their sisters are jealous of their brothers because I always talk so wonderfully about the Monday show. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, and then there's this show. Yeah. You know, you know it, it means an awful lot to us, and whether we yeah. all say it or not. It does, and thank you. Well, you I know, think people that. ask me about it, too, yeah. and it's like hard for me to explain. I'm like, I, I don't really know how to explain it. Yeah, you know, I just we enjoy each other's company. And, yeah. yeah, I mean, we we could all sit at a dinner table and have this same conversation. It would be wonderful. Yeah, I hope we do one day. I hope we do too. Yeah, my only question yeah. is, who's going to pick up the check? Well, that would be, that, 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 that's you. Let's Here's make it that. Brian. Did you Alex. see the size of that ring? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, you know, it's one of the uh, one of the great pleasures that I've had this year, okay. you know, and yeah. and the amount of people that watch the thing over a given yeah. week is yeah. pretty is it, it's not like, you know. Who cares? We have a good time. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's still, it's a very large audience and people who truly love this show, like this woman who wrote me and said, I, ho- I just hope those other people won't call because I don't want to see the pop-up ruined. And I, you know, I didn't know what to expect with this because, you know, I said, I'm going to do a pop-up and um, would I still get the same people and whatever, but this is like we're doing a Monday show. It's just, we all decided to get together for New Year. Did you say a bunch of people in Germany listen to us? Do you know I got get a yeah. thing from Voscast, who's my who's a server for the audio, and it shows who listens listens right. to yeah, it yeah. most. And the United States, of course, is number one listening. Fifteen mm-hmm. percent of my listeners are in Germany. Isn't that oh, we should cater to the German. Hello, Germany. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any German. Anybody know German? I slide right here from sex saving. Mercedes Benz. Huh? Next week we'll have German chocolate cake. Yeah. Why don't we on the Monday show? Let's just do a whole tribute to Germany. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Alex, you're just like David Hasselhoff, man. You're yeah, right. <laughs> right. yeah, but I was just amazed. Why why Germany? Well, you know, yeah. of all of all the countries, you know. Schwarzman. Or is, uh, what's your what's your last name? 
Schwartzman, right? Yeah, but I don't use that. Well, they might look. Maybe yeah, I better right start now. using it. They're sneaky. They can find that stuff <laughs> out. Yeah. Well, listen, everybody, I want you to have a very nice weekend. And, uh, you know, I'll, we'll be doing a show again on Monday. So, uh, I have Monday. Oh, yeah. That sounds great. That sounds great. Yeah. So, I thank mean, you for doing uh, this. Brian, great. thank you so much for your participation over the years. I yeah. really appreciate it. You, Charlie, have been just with us, except when there's baseball. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but that's with not us. Monday. That's yeah, not but when you don't have baseball, you're always here, yeah. you know? Uh, Edward Berger, of course, we enjoy the cartoon voice. It is Edward Berger. And flash the lights one more time. Oh, all right, well, I have to take this one. Uh, can, we get a, we can we get a, we get a, that, we get a that's all, folks? No, that's all, folks. <laughs> okay. And, and Mandy, of course, we've really appreciated your participation this year. We really like it. And uh, keep the Christmas tree up till June. Um, <laughs> and uh, Scott. You know, you've been with us for years, you know, and it's wonderful. And I'm glad you enjoy this, this group of people and join us for it. Uh, Len LaFrisco, thank you. Kevin, thank you. And of course, uh, Mike Chisholm up there in Canada. Thank you so very much. Hey, everybody, just kind of wave goodbye. And I wish you all a happy. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just play the music one more time. Here we go. Um, wait a minute. I still got two and a half hours. There we go. Everybody, wave goodbye, and we'll wave goodbye at you and uh, say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Okay. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. Thank you for all joining us, and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you in the new year. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye.